Hello everybody, it is I, the Waluigi Big Mac, and welcome back to Psychonauts. Last time we... We may or may not have... Uh, saw Lily get kidnapped by Lungfish. Beat up said Lungfish. Uh, went into Lungfish's, uh, mind. And destroyed the internal city inside his mind. And, and may or may not beat up some sort of, uh... Superhero called, uh... Uh... Coach, uh... Coach Amara or something like that? I could not even be bothered to remember his actual name. Also, also we are also we are so also we are called a monster called Gogalor. I re I really like the name to it. Well, he was evil, but he did build a lot of roads. Yep. So anyway, this uh, Coach uh, Coach Amara guy, we all know it's Coach Oleander. Uh, speaking of which, Coach Oleander, his voice really reminds me of the soldier from Team Fortress 2 uh, who was boy voiced by the late uh, Rick May God bless his soul I do not know what I do not know who uh, Coach Oleander is voiced by but I, uh, I'll, put, I'll probably put it up on the screen if I remember to but yeah this but actually actually you know what Actually, you know what? I can just do it right. I can just do it right now. Actually, shouldn't, it shouldn't take too long. Let's see. He is voiced by Nick Jameson. Yeah, his voice sounds. His Oleander voice sounds really similar to. Uh, Rick May soldier. Maybe that's why I like the character. Uh, anyway, the only thing we have to do is climb this tower and destroy the, uh, the signal up at the top. Alright, just out of curiosity, how well, how well do, did we do this, uh... Coach Amara? Oh, they did it by areas? Wow, screw you, game. Anyway, we made it up here. Oh no, he leaves! <laughs> and we tricked him. Fine. Take control of this freaky toad. I don't need him to have children for me anymore. I've got the brain of a little girl back in my lab that's strong enough to power a whole army of psychoblaster death tanks. Huh? What? You've got the brain of a little girl? I said, in my lab. I think you've got the muscles of a little girl, too. <laughs> Good one. Oh look, look at all of them. There you go. Golden child. <laughs> Who is that? It is I, the creature whose spirit was once, um, <clears throat> over here. Behind you? Yes. Oh. The creature whose spirit was once enslaved by the evil one. You have unchained my soul, and now I shall repay you, powerful human child. Oh, uh, great. Well, okay, show me what you did to my friend Lily. By the drowned spirit of Oblongata, it is done. Yep, and in the mouth you go. This is giving me some deja vu. Uh, for a completely different reason. Not because I I played uh, not because of Psychonauts, but rather Pac-Man World Pac-Man World, the opening. This is your wish to travel across the lake. You may return to either shore and summon me with that. Thanks, Hulking Lungfish. You know, you really aren't as hideous as people say. You may call me now by my true name, Rasputin. The name given to me by my people. And what name is that, noble lake creature? Linda. There we go. Magical lady. 
Well then, we have a few things we need to do. First thing first, we need to go talk to Ford. Also, our inventory is almost full. Anyway, bacon. Looks like you're ready to take on a new psychic power. Ready to come back and get your new merit badge? Yes. Alrighty then. Alrighty then, let's go get our new badge. In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility. I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for invisibility. There we go. I could skip this cutscene, but I'm gonna watch it all the time, mainly, mainly because I re I really like that uh, fanfare. Okay, let's play a game. Look out, another sensor. Oh no, you're out of ammo. No, I'm not. You are now. <laughs> Here are the rules. Take this guy out, but if he sees you at all, you lose. Go get him. So it's very simple. You see, first you go invisible. Where'd he go? You sneak up behind him and bop. Oh, well done. Now that's the power of invisibility. I think I've heard the kids around camp refer to this technique as uh, silent but deadly. Uh. Rasputin, come up here. There's something. There we go. See. Yep. And we should we should probably. We should probably follow uh, our good friend Ford Trailer in over there. I oh, don't know. Something about it seems uh, a bit fishy. Oh dear lord! Dear lord! Look at all those corpses. Can't even make a connection with Sasha or Mia right now for some reason. Sasha said he had some official psychonauts business. Impossible. I would know it if they did. No, something's happened to them. Rasputin, listen. You're the only one who can stop Oleander now. What about you? I... I can't leave this cave, Rasputin. Not as the Ford Crawler you know. What? Why? Years this... ago, I was in a terrible psychic duel that left me barely alive. Yeah, I read about that. They said your psyche was shattered. That you lost your mind. You seem fine to me. Yes, when I'm down here, near the Citanium Motherload, the concentrated power of the Citanium pulls my thoughts together, keeps me like my old self. But if I leave the sanctuary, my psyche becomes disjointed, and I fall into one of my other personalities, with no memory of who I really am. I'd be no use to you unless you needed something raked or, or marked. Well, you can call headquarters and get help. The Psychonauts won't listen to me. They wrote me off as a loon years ago. That's why Sasha and Mia have to take on all my missions. Headquarters doesn't know I'm the one behind the assignment, so they'd never get approved. But Sasha and Mia seem to be out of commission now. You have to be my field agent, Rasputin. Are you ready? No, I don't think I'm not. No. <laughs> now. No, not yet. How about now? <laughs> no, not yet. How about now? <laughs> no, not yet. How about now? Okay, okay. One no, more, one more. How about now? Okay, that's that's yes. enough. Good. You have to find where that monster took the girl. And if you locate any of the other children's brains along the way, bring them back to me for recranialization. Understand? I mean, yes, sir. And then, just like that, we... Well, first thing first, we're going to need to do something first. We're going to need to grab another side core. Because we have enough cards. Where would you like me to... Drop me outside. Oh. And once we make our side core, we're going to do some investigation. We're going to go back to the brain tumbler and enter Sasha's and Mia's mind and see if they know where they are. Because 
Keep in mind, we can actually do that. We can just kind of just intrude on their mind. Hey, anything new in the store? Take a look. Now with that, you now. You take, take that it. shot sold to the big headed kid with the gloves. What else can I do you for? Now, Let's see. Here's That's it for now. Young shot. All right. Go get more. Oh right, I should pro I should probably requip uh, that, and then ah, uh, we'll keep invisibility for now. And then go back down here. Oh, there's no way to skip this, huh? And we get a side blast upgrade. Uh, wait, another one at? Do we get another one at forty? Where are those? Like, you know what? It's you know it's it's whatever. Then let's let's see if we can. Let's see if we can head back to where uh, where we were before. Let's talk to Corella first. Agent Corella, what is it? I'm ready to go back into the field. Okay, let's see if I remember exactly where you were. Okay, yep. Okay, cool. Here we are. Lily's bracelet. Okay, so she's definitely here somewhere. Psychonauts. Who? Oh, that doesn't fit in. That doesn't fit in at all. Maybe I've got this all wrong. Oh, okay, okay, but. Here's my favorite character, by the way. Who are merely the pawns of. Who are the puppet masters of. Well, I was just going to listen to this guy ramble. And Nando, with the backing of those Bermuda Triangle Sharks, <laughs> or else maybe the suits, that, uh, in conjunction with... Uh, the, who do go. you work for? I'm the guard. I've been fully trained. With the full blessing of the military industrial complex. Hmm. Has been officially linked with... You gotta let me in. My friend's in there. Sorry, the milkman has the key. I am not the milkman. <laughs> I'm the guard. <laughs> Who's this milkman? Where's the milkman? Where's the milkman? Now that he's sleeping on the job. His milk is delicious. Everybody wants it. He'll be here soon. Then the lies will end. You gotta let me in. My friend's in there. Sorry, the milkman has the key. I am not the. Well then. Man, I'm the guard. Well, looks like we have to use this thing. On him. Not another tracking device. Not another dragon device. Uh, here, okay, folks. Here comes the best level in this game. Trust me on this. Trust me. This is the best level in this game. It's perfect, isn't it? Yes. Almost complete. Just a few missing pieces. Yes, now which piece talks about the milkman? The one who opens the asylum gate? But it's all about the milkman. Can't you see? Is this like one of those 3D paintings? I can never do those. No, you just gotta learn to see it like I see it. There's something in the fridge that might help you see the world like I do. Ooh, sorry. Uh, I don't drink. Before noon, I mean. Well then. But of course you know all this because you're Australian and nobody seems to care. Hey, uh, where's the door? At the front. Like most refrigerators. Big oil. Who are the so he, so he, he wants... He wants us... So he wants us to open the fridge. So we have no choice but to open the fridge. First, let's collect all these figments. 
And... We got ourselves a new ability! So, we now have Clairvoyance. Man's dead? Ah, oh, crud. Burned up in a department store fire. Didn't you hear? At least that's what the media would have you believe. Is he dead or not? Go to the graveyard. Dig him up. Oh, you'll find something all right. But it's neither man nor milk. <laughs> and this is where. Be careful. They're watching all the time. Hey. And. Now. How am I gonna find some creepy? And welcome in this to the level. Nice normal <laughs> neighborhood. Oh man, I can't I can't believe I'm finally back here again. Also, little buddy's here somewhere. Where is he? I I just heard him somewhere. There he is. I I love that. I love that silly little guy. Anyway, we can intrude in here. And then, yep. So we can enter houses. Find we can find stuff. Hey, are you following me? Uh, there's also figments on the roofs. There's also figments in the backyard. That's strange. Uh, now if you look around, there are like there are cameras everywhere, and I don't like and I don't like that. It doesn't seem to be anything else here. But that's what they want you to think. Yep, so cameras everywhere. Yep. We now have a stop sign. Let's intrude on homes like a real uh, crossing guard would. Let's, let's put this away for now and explore a bit more. Stuff. Let's see. Well, it's a good, it's a good thing we have this uh, metal cobweb duster here. Oop. Oop. Didn't mean to do that. Let's let's talk to this man here. Hey, I'm just gonna walk through, okay? Sorry, road crew only. Hey, I'm just gonna walk through. Stop. Road crew workers only be on the yellow line. You guys are road crew workers? Yes, we work on the road with these red signs. I see. Well, do you guys know where the milkman is? Why do you ask that question? Are you the milkman? Do I look like a milkman to you? That information is restricted to the road crew. Please move along. Yep. So, so these are the G-Men. These are the funniest characters in the game. They have some. They have some really wacky responses. If you walk into their little uh, area, this is a restricted area. They, you're. Now he's using it like a shovel. Stop. This is a restricted area. And back to road crew worker. Uh, now here's the other thing. Let me equip uh, invisibility. Street. Please, sir. We have infrared vision. They have infrared vision, so you can't do that. So how do you get past? Well, well you gotta blend in. 
Because here's the thing. If you use clairvoyance on something, they'll see you as, as something. Use clairvoyance on this mailbox guy. They'll see you as this little creepy milk guy. However, equip, equip, the, equip the sign, they'll see you as a road crew worker. Seems simple enough, right? So this is where this map's main gimmick is. You can you can only go in certain spots with Hello fellow road crew worker. Welcome to the road crew. You can only go into certain areas. I am on the road crew. This is my stop sign. Yes, we are all on the road crew. Our backs are killing us. And just like that. My red sign comes along. We do not we also, our side blast got upgraded. Power Kinesis upgrade at uh, oh, at uh, rank 45. Ooh, interesting. I like the sound of that. Let's go in here real quick. See if there's anything uh, interesting for us to find. So anyway, we can't really go to this guy. Hey, I'm just gonna walk through, okay? Please stay back. There is a severe electrocution danger. And these guys <laughs> What is he doing with that? Can you hear me? I take pride in my well landscaped yard. I take frequent breaks to avoid carpal tunnel syndrome. I am trimming this hedge. Let's see. Well, there's, well, there's only. Now you might think, oh, we're at that end. Well, you thought wrong. We we just jump over here now. Now, now I don't know how to get some of the items uh, in here. Like I don't know where the rolling pin is and everything. So please do forgive me if I don't find them. But like some of these guys. Have some really funny lines. And if I and if I recall correctly, I think their actual name of G-Men. Uh, aha! There we go. Now we got something. Or now we're getting somewhere. Uh hold up. I want the uh, limitation, please. Thank you. We got ourselves a steamer trunk tag. I like to trim hedges. Let's go ahead back to that trimming hedges area. Just one and a two, and we're back over here. Testing, testing. One, two, three. And they see you see us as a work on the phone lines with us. I like to trim hedges. It is a good day for that activity you mentioned. Please join me. Yep. E yep. So, in order, so in order to get access to the suitcase tag, you need this uh, trimming hedge. And the purse is right here. So we got that. Also, what was in Cooper's fridge? Who is the milkman? How much are they paying you? Where did you get the red sign? What happened inside that house? Hello, sir. I am a rainbow squirt. Would you like to buy a box of my delicious rainbow treats? I would buy some cookies, but I don't have any milk. Do you have any idea where I can <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? For my cookies? Ah, creepy man. Well, let's go back in and see uh, where where we went wrong there. Come work on the phone lines with us. Ah, I see now. I like to trim hedges. Why don't you go do that then? For the last several years, I have relied on prescription medication to make it through the days.
Rhubarb is a controversial pie variety. Yep, so we're gonna we're here to help me trim these hedges. So we're gonna need so we're gonna need to figure out where the where the rolling pin is in order for us to uh get that uh, increase. Well for now, let's go in here. See if there's anything important in here. Also, I like I like how they're using the plungers as as a trumpet. Anyway, we're gonna put the trim hedgers away for now, cause we can only use it again to the house. Anyway, and then we got these guys here. So you can actually avoid these guys by going on sidewalk. This is how you're supposed to avoid them. Now there's a hat box there, but I don't think we even have the. Yeah, we do not have the hat box tag, so unfortunately we can't do much with that. However, we can, we can take the mental, uh, cob, cobweb, cobweb duster and, uh, remove that. We can also go in here and, once again, grab a bunch more pigments. As, as we punch, as we punch the worst very rare door. Of course, the white button doesn't work. Now, there's the cemetery, but we can't get in without, uh, without, uh, a flower to make us look like a grieving widow. However, let's go back for a moment. We can still go on the side here. And on the side here, if he stops running away, Boyd fired again. Well, let me move the mouse out of the way. Boyd Cooper, he's a security guard. He got fired. He leaves, comes back with Molotovs, sets the place on fire, and then he gets put into a mental asylum. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. And the duffel bag is right there. So we found two bags. No, technically we found three bags. One of which we had to tag for, the other two we didn't. I love those I love their very monotone voices. Let's see. These guys eat watering cans. I wonder where you get the watering cans from. And then we have this place right here. Now we go this way. Uh, there's nothing there. Now we can open this gate right here and uh, remember that. Remember that. Uh... Seen any suspicious characters around here lately? So we got a crow's feather now. So now we can see here that the gate's unlocked. But we go through this door, it closes. So what we have to do, we have to jump through here. Open that, the door will open, and then we can just walk around and, and enter in. Pretty simple, eh? And now we're now we're a grieving widow. But we're not ready to do that yet. We're gonna explore every nook and cranny of this place first before we do anything else. Like for example, this place has a lot of figments. Oh, it looks like we missed one over there. Oh well, not gonna worry about it for right now. Uh, we got another place. Open this up. Steal all the money. Nothing else in here, which is unfortunate. Let's see, we got another. Rainbow squirt there. Oh, grab that. And this might have something. Nope, just money. Boo. That's 
Well then. We can go in here. Aha! Duffel bag tag. We're not gonna open the fridge. I'm too tired I'm tired of doing that doing all that. Let's see. Then we have this place. Again, we'll need that uh, cobweb duster. Let's see, there's a figment in here. Yeah, the fridge usually never has any important items in here. See anything else we can do? Let's see, let's see, we have to, we still have to go this way. Because I know what we need to do uh, next. I just have to. Uh, I just need to explore the area, find every single nook and cranny I could. Grab that. Before we accidentally fall off like a, like a doofus. And then... Punch this. Aha! We got ourselves a watering can now. Also, can we jump off this? Ooh. And we can also get up here now. And an extra life is here. But we're already at the maximum amount of lives. So let's so let's go back to that place that had that had all the watering can guys. Uh, did we not visit this house yet? Guess not, because there because there are figments in here. I'm watering. I'm watering. That's nice. Anyway, let's grab all these back here. And then let's and let's avoid doing the continuing the plot for now and dick around with this watering can. So we got that place there that we already got the uh the flowers from. We just have to there we go. And watering. Me too. Perhaps we can swap watering tips. There we go. Oh, we're, oh, the Fios is a lady. All right then. Fine watering can. May I ask how much you pay for it? Can. May I ask how much you pay for it? That is a fine watering can. May I ask how much you paid for it? And that. Now we're we're gonna we're we're gonna equip the watering uh, can again, so we don't accidentally uh, get arrested again. That is a fine watering can. Hey, ready then? May I ask how much you paid for it? And then we just have to hop through here, and because we're right here now, because they're the rest are over there. Let's equip the flowers. I am a grieving widow. Ah, uh, I see that you are grieving. Also, he's play he's playing that uh, golf with it. I am a grieving widow. I am your sister. I am a sad widow. <laughs> yeah, also... Actually, can we? Oh! Wow, you can just kind of cheat the system, huh? Can you really... Uh, not quite, because you still need to be in here. Uh, I see to actually... Is the milkman who do you think you're fooling what is the purpose of the goggles what did the rainbow squirt tell you where did you get the red sign what happened inside that house yep and oh yeah every time you get caught uh you lose a life so uh yeah, might as well be careful with that
Ah, I see that you are grieving. I will give you your space. Let's see. Why, God? Why? Let's try that again. Yes. I wish my loved one Burn. was not dead. Yeah, so that's what happens when you attack those guys, by the way. I do not know whether to remarry or to remain loyal to my loved one. And ones. then we grab this book. What were you doing in the cemetery? Are you a grieving widow? Where are your flowers? What did you find in the mausoleum? Who is the milkman? And we all, we were also supposed to get caught that time. The book you found was dynamite. Close the whole thing wide open. It does? Yes. I knew it. I was completely wrong about everything. But now I, I'm well, just going to be cracking it. my knuckles here. The book came from the book depository. They must want to make us think that's where they want us to go because they think we'll think we know they know we know. So we won't go. So I shouldn't go to the book depository? Of course you're going to the book depository. Take the sewers. Watch out for watchers and radioactives and perpetrators. Some of those sewer workers are involved, I think. You'll need one of these. Now we're talking. It's fake. It will help you fit in around the other assassins. Assassins? Wait a second. <laughs> Where are the cows? Not all milk is enriched. Anyway, we can put this away and we're gonna... Let's uh let's re-equip uh, levitation so we can move faster. And then we need our uh we need our classic road work sign. Hello, fellow road crew worker. Welcome to the road crew. And then somewhere around here. There's a guy we need. There we go. Then, uh, head trimmers. Come work on the phone lines with us. And then... I am making a pie. Hello. Welcome to my house. Please stay and make pie. My then we got, we got the ammo up. up. Over time, my husband... Come with us. Oop. I didn't mean to go out. Where you How much of who is... Why did you... What did... What did you know what? That that works. The road crew. This Hello, is my fellow stop road sign. crew worker. Welcome to the road crew. At least we don't have to go in there anymore. Well, it doesn't hurt to double check. Conversation that I am glad you are here, not because of my sense hedges. Oh yeah, we're all, we're all good. Here to help me trim these hedges. Let's see. Did we miss? Did we miss the figments? The figments over here? Did we even enter? Did we even enter this house? Yeah, we entered the house. We just forgot to grab the figments. Okay, that makes sense. Now, unfortunately, we can't really go into the sewers without plungers. So we're gonna need a. Uh... There are no documented cases of alligators found alive in sewers. Also, let's grab this while we're here. This hat box needs a hat box tag. Yeah, unfortunately, we do not have a hat box tag for that guy. But we have just about every single, every other tag for everything else. I enjoy watering. So let's see. And that, yep. Five, three, three, three granted. Well, now we know. Uh, let's try that again. Five, three, three, three. 
And luckily we don't need anything to be in here. Grab you. And then we and then we have ourselves another uh, emotional luggage. Also, remember how I said that, that it's required to, to have cobweb duster in order to progress? This is why. Cause you are cause you actually need to go in here. Honestly, levitation kind of trivializes this whole this whole thing. I work in the sewers. And now we have a plunger to blend in with the, with the sewer crew. Up, oh, but we have this. But well, we have this guy to deal with. All right then. Hold on, let me equip uh, shield real quick. Uh, shield right here. Actually, no, shield in our. There we go. Then we need levitation put in there, and then we can uh, re equip clairvoyance, and just like that. That's gonna happen quite a bunch this level. Anyway, too many rainbow squirts here. Let's get out of here. I am watering. And we can now use that plunger. I work in the sewers. Hello, sewer 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 we might think stick I together against, against those, those who would judge us. And then we go through this pipe. They got Freddy. Poor Freddy. He was such a good secret agent. I mean, I mean assassin. assassin. Who is shooting at us? God, I love the G-Men. It's fake. I'm worried the other assassins are gonna make fun. My gun is clean. I am Watch out, fellow assassin. Clock tower there seems to be someone shooting at us from that tower. Yep. Shield is very important because otherwise, I work for the government. If, because if you get shot, if you get shot by that, well, you die. I do not kill out of passion, but for money. Also, also let's go talk to this guy Watch real quick. I'm worried the other assassins are gonna make fun of me. Shh! Don't broadcast that fact. They look real. Anyway, Got it. get that. Also, all the mental cobwebs are gone now, so... Hooray! Yay! Yay! Anyways. Uh, yeah. But anyway, the G-Men are just so funny because of the... All their, they say all their lines in that such a monochrome voice. Whoever did the voice work for the for the G-Men uh, did, did a very good job. Also, I'm pretty sure their namesake is referencing the G-Man from Half-Life. I could be wrong on that. Let's head upstairs. Freeze. Oh my god, this scene. I'll never tell you the location of the milkman. Never. Okay, let's all just settle down and talk. <laughs> Why did you jump out the window? Where is, Where is the, the milkman? Man? Who is, Who the, is milk the milkman? What is, what is the, mission the mission of the milkman? Milk
Wait for it. <laughs> Oh my god. You from up here is pretty good, but I still can't see enough. I need a way to get even higher. Like super high. As if I were flying. I know. Maybe I could find some stilts. Anyway, helicopter, land and let me in. I want to see the view from up there, please. Anyways, uh this is where this is where actually, you know what? We're just zooming on uh, Raz's face here. Not too far. Eh, I guess I'll... You know This is a good spot. Oop. Anyway. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it here, folks. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the episode, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. Uh, as well as you would like and comment. With that being said, I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Where we are most likely going to be finishing up the Milkman cons Conspiracy here. And move on to the next level. Which I dread because it's probably one of my least favorite levels in this game. Uh, excluding the final level. With that being said, I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Until then, buh-buh!